What are these very heavy octahedral objects I found at an antique store? I have three of these objects, two large and one small. The large object weighs roughly three pounds. Each has exactly one small tab on it. I picked them up in Medina, Ohio at an antique store, where the shop owner could not verify what they were. Please help. They are the 1860 Civil War period six-pointed anti-cavalry caltrips, an anti-horse spiked metal device thrown to the ground to impede cavalry, with four sharpened spikes that would be scattered on roads, trails, or steam beds to puncture boots or hooves and disable the victim. These were designed with the four spikes, so there was always one pointing up. What is this small metal contraption from an estate possibly antique? The pokey tab and flat sharp blade-like piece coming out of the top move together on a very tight springy mechanism. The back panel slides off, and the top button can be pressed. It comes in a case with a pocket. It measures 2 inches by 7 eighths inch by a half inch. What is this thing? It's a fleam, an old bloodletting knife from the Civil War era or possibly older. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the spring lancet was developed and received wide usage as late as the American Civil War. These tools were easy to use because they had spring-loaded blades that made consistent cuts. What is this small wooden table with a cloth underside? It was seen at Pittock Mansion in Portland, Oregon. It looked like an upside-down lampshade attached to the bottom of the table. The mansion was built in 1914. Any ideas? It's a sewing table. It originated in England around 1770 and was adopted in post-revolutionary war America. Prior to the use of the sewing table, women kept needlework in a basket or bag. It was designed to provide a surface and storage for a gentlewoman's needlework or other leisure activities, including basket weaving, crochet, macrame, and painting, as it was customary for women to gather and take up work around the table. Here is another thing at the antique store. It said something about crimping. What is this thing and what is crimping all about? It's a vintage saw set tool. A tool for tuning saw blades. Not really for crimping, but for properly setting the kerf angle of the teeth on a saw blade. What is this huge metal multi-lens magnifying glass thing? found in an antique shop with no other descriptive markings or text. My sister is in Oaxaca, Mexico, and found this metal item that seems to have a bunch of different lenses on a rod, listed for 10,000 pesos, or around 600 US dollars. Any ideas? It's a Feliciano Behar magic scope sculpture from the 1960s, which involved various materials along with crystals and lenses to play with light or create distorted visions. Feliciano was a Mexican artist and artisan. If it is a real Behar, it could be well worth the asking price. I saw one of these sold for 16,900 US dollars. What is this six-sided copper box found in an antique store? I was told it was a sewing box, but no Google searches match. The copper looks rolled, not hammered. The box's internal dimensions are roughly 8 by 9 inches. The copper lining is two pieces, one on the door, and the other is cut and folded into a five-sided box. And it is removable if I took the door hinges out of the way. Purchased in Frederick, Maryland at an antique store. Any ideas? It's a copper-lined cigar humidor cabinet. It was used to hold cigars and tobacco in its copper-lined secret compartment. An ashtray was usually placed atop the humidor, so that one could smoke in comfort on a couch or armchair in a sitting room. This humidor likely dates to the early to mid-20th century. What is this rubber bag found at a World War II vintage store? It's made of rubber and has a cloth strap. It is to my knowledge a World War II era bag but I am curious as to what it was used for, and I can't find anything on the web, please help. This is a Romanian M74 Gazmisk bag from the 70s. The M74 is a licensed copy of the German M65. It was partially replaced in service by the M85, however the M74 is still in production. The oval stamp says CTC, ubiquitous on Romanian communist-era items. 
What is this thing that came with plenty of vintage materials spanning the late 1700s to early 1900s? Looks like a vintage dog tag, possibly for a wolf. It appears to be copper or bronze, and is definitely around 100 years old from the patina. Any ideas? HB Company likely means Hudson Bay Company. I believe that is a pelt tag from the fur trading days. In Canadian history these are called bale seals. Bales of fur tobacco and cotton were wrapped up and sealed with these tags as a form of quality control and ownership. This one doesn't really look like it was used though. What is this leather box with metal tools, brush, and glass vials? No writings or numbers on any of the pieces or the box itself. No clue how old and a few of the pieces missing. Any ideas? It's an antique travel kit. My husband's family company made these in the 1800s in Italy. The tool on the far left is a glove stretcher. The one on the far right is a hook for securing spats, perfume bottles on top, a toothbrush bottle, clothing brush, soap holder, etc. What is this lockable cabinet with small brass cups? It belonged to my grandparents, and I found it while cleaning out our house. I'm guessing it's from the 1950s approximately. The ceramic piece is marked made in England, but no other marks or manufacturer labels are present. Thanks in advance for your help. It's an English gentleman's box, an Edwardian tobacco and a smoking cabinet. The stoneware jar is for tobacco, the small drawers are for playing cards and other accessories, and the holes behind the ashtray are for pipe stems. It's worth something to the right buyer. In good condition it could sell for a couple of thousand. Is this something made for tourists or what is its purpose? I found this object at a thrift store in Palm Springs a few years ago, but not sure what it is or how old it may be. It's pretty heavy, weighs about 3 pounds, and feels like limestone or maybe concrete, but it's a carved relief of a dragon being slayed by a knight. What is it? Was it made for tourists? Thank you in advance. The theme looks to be St. George and the Dragon. People just always assumed they were stolen or reproductions, but a lot of old cathedrals in Europe will sell old pieces of stonework, as it is replaced to help fund the repair costs. I first saw it in Ulm Minster, a Lutheran church located in Ulm, Germany. The ones for sale were a bit expensive for me, but I regret it now. What is this moderately heavy cylindrical object that screws into something? I was walking through a farm field when I saw this object shining out of the ground. It's moderately heavy and seems to be part of a bigger object. We live in rural Georgia, and the house we live on was built in 1914. This 18 acres property was owned by an older couple when we bought it, and that was way back in 92. Me and my wife have found some similar objects before at our property but this is the first time I've ever asked anyone about it. What is this thing? Please leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.